What's going on guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to talk about the five most profitable poker hands that most people still overlook these days. These are the five hands that have made me some of my biggest profits in recent years, and I wanna share them with you in today's video, including step-by-step -step examples on how to play each one. So let's jump into it, counting down from five to one. Here are the top five poker hands that most people still overlook. All right, so coming in at number five is 10-8 suited. Now guys, this is one of my absolute favorite hands. I've talked about it many times here on the channel and it's still overlooked by a lot of beginners. Guys, this hand can make a straight, a two pair, trips, flush, and so much more. This is kind of like the Swiss army knife of hands. Let me give you an example of a good flop. So if you have a hand like 10, eight of hearts, an excellent flop would be ace of hearts, 10 of clubs, five of hearts. Guys, on a board like this, we have both a flush draw and a pair, giving us a boatload of outs to win the hand. I mean, we might even be ahead right now with middle pair, but guys, remember there's nine more hearts in the deck, which would give us a flush, a nearly unbeatable hand. And also there are two more tens in the deck and three more eights, which could give us trips or two pair. That is why a hand like this and with all of the other hands as well on this list are so profitable because if you're up against one of these tighter players that you see a lot in today's games that can't fold a hand like ace king, for example, on this board or a recreation poker player who I refer to as our fishy friends. We know they don't fold anything. This hand can be absolute money versus these kind of players. So you want to raise preflop with this hand or call in position. Now I'm going to put the image on your screen right now of the positions at the poker table just so you understand what I'm talking about. The cutoff and the button are by far the most profitable seats at the poker table. I've talked about it at length in videos on the channel here. The reason why is because you're going to get to act last on the flop turn and river. Massive proven statistics advantage, but a lot of the hands on this list really, really benefit even more from this because it's going to allow you to get more raises in, more value bets, or even fold your hand and save money if you think you're beat. So guys, bottom line, you want to play a hand like this versus, like I said, a lot of those tighter players who have trouble folding a big top pair or over pair type hand and also the recreational players, and you want to try to flop some sort of big combo draw like this where you got a pair plus a flush draw. Let's move on to hand number four that a lot of people overlook these days and that is 5-3 suited. Guys, this is another one of these sneaky sort of suited one gappers that can really play well, especially in deep stack games. Now let me define what I mean by deep stacks. I'm typically talking about poker games where you have 100 big blinds or more. So if you're in a $1, $2 cash game, for example, 100 big blinds would be $200, two times 100. Now a lot of poker tournaments also start off in the beginning stages with deeper stacks like this and that is where hands like this can really, really be highly profitable because of course we're playing a game of No Limit Texas Hold'em where you can bet any amount at any time. So 5-3 suited. This hand can also make a really nice well-hidden straight, trips, two pair, and so on and so forth. Let me give you another example of a good flop with this hand. Ace of diamonds, four of spades, and seven of hearts. Guys, this is a spot where a lot of beginners will overlook this spot. They'll say, oh, I've only got five high. I don't have anything on this board. Actually, guys, we have the gut shot to the wheel straight draw here. If it came with a two on the Turner River, we would make a very well hidden wheel straight. Ace, deuce, three, four, five. Also, I hope some of you savvy poker players already noticed that there is a spade on this board, meaning that we have a backdoor flush draw, meaning that if it came with a spade on the turn and river, we would also make a nearly unbeatable flush. So guys, similar to the previous hand, you want to call preflop versus tight players in particular with a hand like this, especially in position with deeper stacks and look to stack their over pair. This is one of my absolute favorite hands to play versus those tighter, nittier players that you see in today's games that if they hit top pair with a hand like Ace King, they're not folding and we know recreational poker players don't fold that hand either. Let's move on to hand number three that is often overlooked these days and that is pocket sixes. Guys, a lot of beginners and amateurs still overlook these baby pocket pairs, but they're incredibly profitable profitable, especially against the recreational players, aka our fishy friends. And really it's quite simple guys, you want to look to flop a set. So example, you got pocket sixes, you want to
wanna look for a flop like a king six forward. Now granted, you're only going to flop a set around 12% of the time, but guys, that 12% means a lot. I've literally made a career out of flopping sets versus bad players like this, who once again cannot fold a hand like ace king or king queen in a situation like this. Guys, these hands are absolute money because they're never gonna put you on a set three of a kind with the six on the board here. And you can very often stack them in a situation like this, meaning that you take all of their chips in front of you, especially if you're fast playing. And what I mean by that is raising often on the flop and turn. But let's move on to poker hand number two that a lot of people still overlook these days. And that is a hand like ace four suited. Guys, I've talked about these suited aces a lot here on the channel. By the way, make sure you subscribe so you never miss my new poker strategy videos. But guys, hands like this, ace four suited, doesn't matter by the way, if it's hearts, spades, clubs, diamonds, they're all the same. A hand like this, guys, has tremendous nut potential. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. I'm talking about the fact that this hand can make the nut flush, this hand can make the wheel straight, which we just talked about with 5-3, and also can make an excellent two pair. Guys, the nuts in poker is a slang term for the best hand possible or one of the best hands possible, and it is imperative for your poker success that you look to be drawing at the nuts as often as possible, and that's the beauty of a hand like this. So an example good flop for ace four of hearts, for example, would be a flop like jack of hearts, eight of clubs, and five of hearts. This is a situation where we are drawing at the nut flush. So if somebody is playing a hand that also has two hearts in it, but it is lower, for example, a hand like queen 10 of hearts, if that heart comes on the turn or river, they are going to be in an absolute world of hurt because you have the best flush possible with the nut flush, with the ace high flush, and they only have the third best flush with the queen eye flush. So guys, bottom line, get involved with this hand, especially in position with deep stacks versus nits. Again, the tight players and the recreational players and look to flop big draws like this, two pair, a pair plus a flush draw. Flops like that are absolute money with this hand. All right, guys, let's move on to the number one poker hand that many people still overlook these days and which has been an absolute profit machine for me in recent years. And that is a hand like seven, eight, suited. For those of you guys who are fans of the channel here, you know I love suited connectors and suited one gappers. And the reason why, guys, is because they are absolute money with deep stacks. They can make multiple straights, trips, two pair flushes on and on. Let me give you an example of a good flop with a hand like seven, eight of diamonds. That will be a hand like ace of diamonds, nine of clubs, and five of hearts. In this situation, we have the back door flush draw. If it came diamond, diamond onto the turn and river, we'd make the flush. We also have the gut shot straight draw on this board, guys, to the nut straight. If it came with a six on the turn or river, we would also make an unbeatable straight on this board. Again, we just talked about how important it is to draw out the nuts in poker. Once again, guys, in a spot like this, especially if there's an ace or a king on the flop, you can often win a massive pot versus the nits, the tight players, or the fish if they hit that top pair. They're never gonna put you on a straight. They're never gonna put you on a backdoor flush. And that is why hands like this are so powerful, especially when the stacks are deeper and these players struggle with their post-flop bet sizing. But that's a topic for another video. Guys, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you want to know my entire strategy for smashing the small and mid-stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That will be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackGreen79.com.